Welcome or welcome back at any help at C square. In this example, we need to find this limit, limit when x approach to 0 of square root of x plus 2 minus square root of 2 over x. We're going to do that by complete the table below. And also, we're going to take a look to the graph to see if uh, our numerical result is matching the graph. So how are we going to do the numerical? We're going to take these values and I'm going to start with point, negative point 0.1. And we're going to plug in this function that goes with these limits. And we're going to do f of negative 0.1. How are we going to do that? You're going to plug it in, like I said, in this function. And you're going to have negative 0.1 plus 2 minus square root of 2 over negative 0.1. If you grab a calculator and you put this in the calculator, you should end up with 0.358. Similarly, we're going to do the second uh, value in this table, negative 0 0.01, and I end up with 0.354. For negative 0 0.001, the value is 0.353. And that is from the left side of zero, right? Number less than zero. Let's see what's happened on the right side of zero, number greater than zero. At 0 0.001, I end up with 0 0.353. 0 0.001, I have the same value. I took only the first three, the most, you notice. And at 0, 1, I have 0.349. So let's take a look in this table. Once you get closer and closer to 0 from the left side, we get closer and closer, you notice, to this value. That's the thing I'm going to write here. I'm going, I'm going closer to 0. That's what the limit is. In this case, from the left side, so I'm going to put a minus here. The function is getting closer to 0.353. When I go from the right side, number large than zero, I have the same type of behavior. The function is getting closer and closer to the same value. So that means the limit when x approach to zero of this function is this approximation, 0.353. Of course, if you want to get the exact value, you probably should use an algebraic way. Now, let's take a look to the graph to see if that numerical value uh, match the graphs. And you notice here, once I get closer to zero from this left side, the function is getting closer to this empty dot, which is between zero and one. The same thing, if I go closer to zero for the right side, the function is getting closer to this uh, empty that of this hole. So yes, it is. It does confirm our result. If you enjoyed this clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C square for more help. Thank you.